Hmm. Okay. So a glimpse of it. Okay, some theoretical concepts around it. Okay. So what is pandas? Pandas are high performance open source library for data analysis. Okay, so similar to this, you have uh, Excel sheets. People earlier used to use Excel sheet for doing. If you if you talk to folks who have MBA background and all, they mostly you you have they have done data analysis using Excel sheet. Okay, now what this pandas brings to the table is you can do much more complex stuff with ease using pandas much more complex stuff much more uh, larger data with easily so what is the idea i mean so you have some data be it the data in if the data can be in database the data can be in excel sheets the data can be in files some rest APIs. it can be anywhere right what pandas can do it is it can help you doing data processing data cleanup data i mean do, doing taking some conclusions out of it right uh, finding mean of some particular column mode distribution. So we get all this sort of and using pandas you can subject the data to for plotting as well. Visualization as well. Okay, that's what it is. Pandas are high performance open source library for data analysis. Okay. Uh, processes data sets of different formats, time series, uh, tabular format, matrix data. Okay. Import data from CSV JSON database. Right. Okay, uh, provides uh, extensive operations like, uh, you know, uh, you know, slicing the data, getting a subset of the data, doing some merging of the data. For example, you have data from different states. Okay, you want to merge it and get some conclusive result on combining data of different states. You can do that sort of operations. Okay. Then handling missing data. If there is some data which is missing, how do you handle it? There is some column, each column is missing, how do you handle it? There can be techniques like finding the mean age of all the people and filling it over here, or finding the mean age based on gender and filling it over here. Right? There can be a lot of such techniques which we'll discuss. Statistical analysis, okay, like uh, which are the important columns out here? What is the correlation between different data? You can do all the statistical analysis uh, using pandas. Mm -hmm. Then uh, pandas uh, is it's actually very nice because it can be consumed by your scikit-learn library or TensorFlow. Makes sense, right? So it is alternative to your Excel sheets. In Excel sheets, you do, you know, you can write certain macro, you can do some processing and all that. You can do all these things. See now, there are two popular data structure in. Uh, Goes to you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Put on my table, I guess. Mm. Yeah. So here uh, you have this uh, series and data frame. Okay. Uh, this is two in in data pandas. There are two popular data structures. One is series, one is data frame. You can imagine series as a column. Okay. Series is one column. If you have series data structure, it typically means one column. Data frame is collection of series. What is collection of column? That is a table. Right? One is series, one is data frame. Series is uh, one column, data frame is collection of columns. Okay. Let's create. Okay, so how to import? Import and uh, there's P. You do pd dot series. Okay, you have pd dot series. So uh, what you uh, want to do here is this is what you are trying to create. It's get S is capital here. Okay, you want to create a series. Okay, and when you are creating series, there are two things. One is you have to pass the data.
Hmm. Other is you have to pass the index. What is index of a uh, column? Index is these values, right? Left hand side values of the column. You can pass the index here. A. So we can make dictionaries also. Yes. This creates a series like this here, a column. Index, we need to do or like automatically can do Which one index? Index, if you don't give, it will take 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 by default. Yeah, that will be like NumPy, right? Okay, the series is nothing but an indexed NumPy. Okay, so if you don't give anything. You can do this, it will automatically generate them. Okay, this is where you're giving the value, index values. This is where it is automatically generated. Visible from there, right? To you, visible. Huh? Okay, so this is this is what is CDs here now. Okay, so let me save it. If you A is a series, right? Now, if you want to access A, what you can do is remember this. I'll just get some other name so that you don't confuse. Series A. Okay. Now, what is the thing that I was trying to say here? Series A. Then if you, this this is the index value, right? Index means how do you access? So if you give here a, it will give you the value corresponding to it, right? It will give you the value corresponding to it. If you give you series a, here you will get data between a and c, right? But note one thing: here c is inclusive. Earlier in NumPy, okay, or you see in this, it was the last number was exclusive, right? See in this data frame, in this series, series, series B. Okay, you have the series here. Okay. Yeah, you 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 have the series here. Right. Now, uh, in here, if you do this, zero to, you see here, three is exclusive here, right? In the earlier case, when you used values in name in indexes, right? A, B, C, when you gave the values, it is not auto, it is not index, it is values here. Index values, this is index IDs. When it is index IDs, it is exclusive. When it is index uh, values, it is inclusive. Remember this. It is the same throughout in pandas. Throughout it is same. Okay. Throughout data science, it will be same. So when it is values, it is inclusive. 
So that's what you're telling A and C include A to C inclusive C. Here zero to three exclusive three. Right? Okay. So what is series? Series is nothing but an index and a column. That's what it is. Series or index number. This is slicing, right? Hmm. This is slicing. So given a you know imagine that this is some date so you can tell between this date and this date I am I have this much date. Even if we are giving index as A B C, we can use zero to three, right? Hmm? Even if I am using index as A B C D E, hmm. I can find the uh, I can find the data using zero to three range. Like two, uh -huh. both the indexes are working, right? No, 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 both the indexes won't be working. Once you once you override, oh, oh you mean this way? Series A here, you want to give zero to the Ah, cha cha cha. This will work. Yeah. Got it, right? So here it will. If you see, this is but this is always confusing. Unless if you don't give uh, the series name as numbers, this is fine. If you give a series I like, if you have, you are creating like this. E dot series. If you give it like this, huh? Understood, right? Then your this guy won't work. If you're overriding the series IDs by numbers, there is no way to differentiate, right? An earlier case, it was string and numbers, it was all fine, but now it cannot differentiate. If index has number, then it will be a higher priority and lower take. Overtake, right? You overtake the default index number. If you give the indexes as strings, it will be fine. But if you are giving indexes as, uh, I mean, it will be fine. Then both of them will coexist. The numbers will also be there. The index values will also be there. But if you are giving numbers, you are overwriting the default. After this, so. uh, if you know like how many how many numbers you know, like you, uh, you huh? Oh, like uh, what is the list of size list then you can give uh, indexes series indexes like or you can override indexes the size of this ah, data of this. Ah. suppose if uh, runtime if uh. you don't know what is the list of it uh, that time it's it will automatically generate unless you uh, see most of the time you will be loading some data right yeah, from a file right. yeah so that time it will automatically get it from the data itself yeah. Uh, uh, many times, you know, a person's IE employee ID is an index. Got it, right? Okay, it will treat employee ID as index. You can make we'll we'll do these operations oh, shortly very cheaply. Okay, but data uh, is almost if you want to get all the indexes, you do this index, it will give you all the indexes. Right? If you want to get the values. It will give you all the values, right? So see, this is numpy array index is also numpy array values are also numpy array. Okay, then you do this series C. If you try to do here two colon four, it will get you say two colon four. This is a series C, right? Two to four. See, got it right? The default indexing is not more operative. Two to four means. One thing I have a question is, ah. so this is trying. So I have given the data in one, two, three, four, five, and index as A, B, C, five, and E. Mm. Okay. So the fourth digit, the number four should have index five. I have given the index as A, B, C, five, E. Okay. But when I am using the uh, array of value three, it is showing me the number. But the array of value five is not shown. Mm, can't uh, visualize. Okay, it. both are showing actually. Mm. This is also showing and five. Like series of D I have chosen. Mm. So series of D of three. Mm. This is the uh, basic index that is showing the number two. Mm. Series of five is also showing number two. No, that might be something else. Uh, 
So series, for example, series four, right? No, no, no. Can you create one more series? Okay, series. Which should not actually exist. No, this five is actually convert. Uh, if you want to see, you can see here five is there. Oh, sorry, it is converting everything into strings. Yeah. No, no, no it is. Uh, so series is homogeneous in nature. One series, right? Okay, it is homogeneous in nature. Okay, let's see. Let me show it. So you you are trying to, you are trying to access this value right five mm -hmm. you are getting four value corresponding to that. So if I am having add the fifth position, for example, if you add six number over there in the array, you mm -hmm. won't be able to access that. There is fifth only. How can you access six number? No, the general index. Five uh, would be the sixth number, right? Zero, one, two, three. Oh, five. oh, yeah. That that's what I was saying. Right? It overrides. No. The index wise access is not possible. I mean, no. not. I mean, you can still do it, but see, uh, if you do one, it will giving you this value, right? Okay. But things goes heavy if you if you do five because it is confused now. What to do? Got it, right? So if you do five, it is actually. One, two, three, four. One. It is taking it as value. But if you do four, right? If you do three, okay. So the thing is, it of course cannot do magic for you, okay. And uh, generally, you definitely would like to avoid situations like this. You'd make it uh, a bit cleaner, okay. And either you access it by index or by value. Okay, I mean, the other thing is, you know, you can try finding, uh, you know, when it would not work, but whenever you are trying to access indexes, either it would be by values or by index. So, take it clean, it will work. No, no, no. No, 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 it will work because many times, right, I'll give you some example. You want top five data. You need it by index. Got it, right? You want the data between July 3rd and July 7th. You want it by values. So you need both of them. Got it, right? So suppose you have a data, you want top five data, first five data. You do it by index. Okay. Whereas other hand, if you want data between July 3rd and January 15th, you will get this by values, index values, considering key date time is your index. Okay, so you need both of them. I will do a lot of this index accessing in data. I mean, data frames actually. So let these questions be, you know, answered in details there. Yeah, because like uh, showing index as an object. Hmm? When you were executing. Uh, object means is any. Uh, always you will see this string. string. Both. Yeah, that is always it will cast into object. Type. Okay, object is a default type. If it is not numbers. If it is, uh, if it is timestamp, then it will be timestamp type. Information. So we'll see a lot of these things. Right. Okay, so this C is D. Okay. Dot you have this function to dictionary. You can convert a series to dictionary. Notice this. The key became key value pair. Right? And also you can convert a dictionary into series. Understood what happened over there? It converted series to dictionary. Huh? No, no, no. The key will be the index will become key. Okay, so if you do, if you do this pd dot series, 
right? It converts the dictionary back into series. So you can convert dictionary to series, series to dictionary. When we accessing through index, it is also like working like like uh, a dictionary, right? Mm. What's the difference between using that? We can create a columns, right? Once you create a column, you can combine columns to create a table. Once you have table, you can write your fast queries on top. You can do visualization, you cannot do that. Okay, so then you what you have is okay, reading. Series here you want to create one series with all same values, say zero, right? And give you index. Sorry. Index. Okay. Sorry. Got it right here. So you are creating a series from a scalar value. You are creating a series from a scalar value. Yeah, there should be. It is uh, that means you are not passing a list here, right? Okay, so this is this is what is this? This is actually scalar values. You are creating a series of scalar values. Okay, you can write here hello also. Right, you are creating a, a series of scalar values. It's not a vector. So earlier when there is a vector mismatch. Okay, so let's proceed further. Okay, I think we are good enough with series. Okay, because we'll now use this is one of the most important thing here, data frames. We'll spend a lot of time here on the using data frames. Remember, series is nothing but uh, you know a data frame is collection of series. So series is series like a man, you know manufacturing unit of data frame. Let's see, let's try to create data frame. Okay. This is what is analogous to your spreadsheets, I mean Excel sheets. This is analogous to your if you are using SAS, there are data frames in it. There, it, it is, if you are, you know, Cognos, uh, any tools, it is an alternate, free alternative to that. Very extensive. So, what you do is, let's create a series one. S1 is equal to series. In panel, we have series in data panel is uh, deprecated. We thought data structure was panel, okay, which is deprecated. That means it will not be in use. Okay. This is one series S1. We're creating another series S2. PD dot series. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, you have two series, S1 and S2. Now, if you do PD dot data frame, S1, S2. 
see this it what it did it, it combined multiple uh, series here to create a table right create a data frame and what is the index values by default what is the column names you are giving here as well as Hello. Hello. Uh, Avantik. Yeah. Uh, can you please explain this? Uh, the last one, thirty-six and uh, thirty-seven, because you given uh, S one colon uh, S two uh, S one, and uh, in that you know you have mentioned uh, in a string, right? Mm -hmm. So, so what, these are the column names. Yes. Can you give any names here? Kind of alias names, right? Yeah. Just the column names actually. You know, I mean, right. column names. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So like alias names. Hmm. I mean, later on, actually, if you create a data frame, if you want to access, if you want to access column, you will basically do df dot a. You will accessing a column. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah, this is like a dictionary you are passing here. Both are curly brackets. E will be your uh, column name and the value will be your. Here uh, you have PD data. I mean, this is S1 comma S2. Now you can see here what happened here. Okay, so uh, let me just mute just a second. Yeah, DF dot A. DF is a, this earlier data frame that one created. Dot A means a column out of it. And row values also we can get row values also. I'll discuss that. Okay, there is a utility lock and I lock for row value access. That is different. Ah, uh, row name also you can give. You can give it like this. Index. Okay, if you do, if you don't give, uh, it will override it. Basically. Hope so. Well, that's because these guys don't have this index, right? You have to do it here also. The index should be the same then. Hello. Yeah. How can you copy for, uh, from the one uh, IN forty seven to one IN forty six? I tried. Uh, it's not copy. So you can do, yeah, just select. Okay. 
mean the controls master. controls yeah yeah i mean should work right control c control v yeah yeah same way okay i tried that it's not worked okay i'll try yeah so if you have columns series with the index name and of course here uh, okay so here you this is what you're doing okay so if you if you don't write it also that is fine it will take the indexes from the series got it right got it but you want to change the index here you want to change the indexes here for that uh, you can do uh, for, for that there is something known as pd dot Got it, right? If you do dot index and you assign the values, the you see the data frame has now new index. We can't get in now. Don't waste. Hmm. No. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can do that. Okay, I did just now, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Now. Okay. So each. Uh, data each series whatever you're passing it below becomes a row now you are passing it as a list ah so I'll, i'll discuss about an an is missing numbers actually Okay, let's now access. First, learn how to access it. I'll discuss about this. This is a huge topic, so you know uh, we have broken it down to pieces. So uh, you saw how we def. Okay, so the one way of accessing this was like data frame num name and other. So remember, if you have multiple words in the column name, okay, you cannot do it like this. Is that clear? Okay, so for that, what you do is like this. In bracket, you write. Did you change the series about? Hmm? The series is changed. Like what is A? <coughs> this one. Yeah. Where is it coming from? Which series? Uh, this series. Yeah, I change the index name, right? If you want to change the index values, you do this D F index, and you pass the values. All right, right? This is there are I mean there are more things to show. Suppose you have a CSV file, okay, and you want to load it directly. You understood few things that right? you get a column. I'll will just see as we proceed further. We'll do a lot of other things. But uh, suppose let me see if I miss something. Okay, this is what we have done. Given the series name, index values. Uh, yeah. Suppose you are accessing column. This is what we saw now, right? If you are accessing multiple columns, you have to give. Okay, that's important thing. So uh, remember, this is returning a series object. Df dot is returning a series object. But with series object, a lot of math computation are not available. You want a data frame object, for example. So there are two ways. One we one is that you write it inside double brackets. You'll get a data frame. 
got it right and if you want to get multiple columns you write df a the multiple columns you cannot write like this you cannot write like this you have to give if you want to access multiple columns like in a data can can have n columns you want to access three columns out of it okay so you will write it in double brackets here But the e should come in that, right? Like a should be in square bracket, b should be in square bracket. No, 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 no. It is not list of list. You have to pass whenever you. This is the columns list, list of columns. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you should pass list of columns as an as parameter here to get access to columns. Okay. okay. So the inner square bracket is a parameter. Right. Right. And it has to be part of the mm -hmm. list. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so now do a small assignment. Create three series: S1, S2, S3. Okay, uh, uh, one will have January to May, one will have uh, January, January to July, seven months, July 7, right? Yeah, January to July, ma, ma, Monday to Sunday, okay, one to seven. Combine all of them to create a data frame. Create a data frame with three columns. Okay, one will be Monday to Sunday, Monday will be seven days of a week, seven months of a week, and seven numbers. Okay, just create this data frame. This for syntactical thing. Till that time, I'll. Earlier, I used to use uh, you know generally uh, accepted data from this uh, series on I mean this session onwards. I will be using data from this website, okay, data dot dot. The purpose is this is original Indian data, and I want you guys to work, start working on. And you know this no, there is no analysis of this data anywhere. Okay, uh, there is a, there are a few interns here who are working actively on doing some analysis on this data. Okay, they will be starting their work from this from today, today or tomorrow. Okay, uh, okay. So this is first create an account here. This is the government website data. So first, uh, I think I've logged in. Yeah, just search for data.gov.in. I just one second. I'm getting for the data possible. So this is the website data.gov.in. Okay. <clears throat> oh, the meeting is about to end. Uh, I'll quickly descend.